We need to talk. Now. I'm just packing up a sculpture for Leap In. Damn it! Argentina is manipulating everyone. Manipulating? More like helping. The other day, my accountant says, I need tax write-offs. <laughs> the next thing I knew, Argentina says, I can donate one of my sculptures to Leap In as a tax write-off. And you don't think that's a little convenient? It's like she's always one step ahead. Calm down, Nancy Drew. I'll have you know Nancy Drew had successful books, a number of television spinoffs, and could easily do the work of two Hardy Boys. So thank you for the compliment. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Yeah, why do we have so much red yarn? Have you ever seen an HBO drama, Harper? This is how they catch people. Looky here, Nora. Why were you at the coffee shop, huh, Nora? They're always low on oat milk. Yeah, it's because I steal it for you. <laughs> Is that a passport photo of Muffin Man? Why are you putting him up there? He brightens up the place. Your stalker game? C'est magnifique. Wow. Oh, I wish I could cry. Why can't you? No, dear ducks. I just don't want to ruin my makeup. <laughs> oh, Carly, you saw the woman pee. Let it go. Let this go? OK. <laughs> Uh, wedding tradition. <laughs> Magnets symbolize lifelong attraction. Quick question, though. Why did it stick to your head? Oh, uh, I don't want to talk about it. We're all friends. Give us the download. <laughs> Are these I love you flowers or I'm sorry flowers? They're for you, from a fan, which makes them please scrub our address from the internet so I can feel safe in my own home, flowers. <laughs> Happy birthday. Nope. <laughs> I like flowers. Oh, should we make a toast? Yes. To Brooke for getting her car back so she can be here. Aw, and to Freddie for making such a sweet toast. And to me for getting the door. <laughs> hey, everyone, I'm back. I know it's been a while, but you guys are in for something really exciting. Carly? Bo! Hey! <laughs> Cool shape. Yeah, it's an and symbol for Carly and oh, Doesn't it make you just want to stand on either side of it and be all? Sh sure. Kinda. Look at all these women. And you. And that guy. A camaraderie of sisterhood joining hands to say we can fix it ourselves. I'm gonna start taking notes now. You know where class starts, Millicent? In here. That's your clavicle. <laughs> I just can't wait to learn everything there is to know about cars. I truly am a renaissance person. But most importantly, I'm gonna get Vin Diesel in tip-top shape. MTV Movie Award winner for best tank top, Vin Diesel? He's in perfect shape. Oh, my car's name is Vin Diesel. Yesterday, this guy tried to charge me $15,000 for repairs. Ugh. The worst. But you are going to love the instructor of this class. He is so patient and smart. And when he shows you how to do a tune-up, it's almost tender. As long as he's honest. I just can't take another skeezy scammer like that guy I met yesterday. Skeezy scammer? Sounds like a jerk. Yeah. He sure was! Yeah. Hi. It took me a minute to figure it out. But Sand is shady. It's an MLM. Nuh-uh. What is that? <laughs> Multi-level marketing. It's a pyramid scheme. Companies get you to buy inventory of phony products that you can't sell because they don't work. So your only way out is to recruit more salespeople. I learned all about it on my favorite podcast, Scam Empress. That's not what's going on here. Mm, they keep sellers interested with cheap prizes, fancy titles, and worthless fake currency. Chet, chet, and cha check. <laughs> You said MLM products are bogus, but sand works. I'm calm, Spencer's sensitive, and Freddie's so brave he inadvisably quit his job. Now, if you'll just excuse me, I have a sensational sales event to prepare for. I've got my head in the sand, and it's staying there. Harper, what do you think? I'm thinking, do you take Amex? Exclusively. Here is a membership form, and you can keep the pen. Thank you. <laughs> Carly, how about you? No, that's cool. I'm good for pins. If you don't join, you'll never see Harper again. 
because she'll be so busy here at Leap In. <laughs> yeah, but I don't need a workspace. I can just use the studio where I shoot. Hi, Carly. Three million subscribers, 60% women in the coveted 18 to 49 demographic. How did you know that? I know my metrics. I'd love to be on your show. I could do Thursday at 2, or you could come here, which would be better for me. <laughs> yeah, I'll definitely be voluntarily coming back here. <laughs> Thank you, Snoqualmie Sweets, for hooking us up this weekend. My friends and I are having so much fun all together in the same place right now. <laughs> what now? OK, yeah, I'm coming. <laughs> I guess it's my turn to dance on the bar. <laughs> Gotta go. <laughs> Another lonely lady? I mean, I'm alone, but I'm not lonely. Sure, I got ditched on my girl's trip because I brought my best guy friend, and apparently he brought his A-game. No, but... that's the name of your drink. Do you want another lonely lady? <laughs> yes, please. We are all booked for Carly's birthday trip to Snoqualmie Falls! Yeah. Snoqualmie Falls birthday trip! Yes! You guys are gonna have so much fun. Send pics. <laughs> You're not coming? Carly sends us away every year because of her evil birthday curse. <laughs> Don't know why you guys are doing ghost noises. I'd take a ghost over this curse any day. Ghosts can be hot. Remember Patrick Swayze? <laughs> She's had a few minor mishaps on a few July 24ths. A few? Minor? 16th birthday, gummy bear lamp burned down my bedroom. 19th, chipped my tooth on a banana. 24th, got mugged for my Tamagotchi. I miss you, Coochie Pachi. It's the curse. Ooh. That's why I now spend my birthday alone with a pie and nothing else. If I'm home alone, in my pajamas, eating soft food with a spoon, there's no way the curse can touch me. Happy birthday, Carly Shay. Principal Franklin? Hi, it's so good to see you. <laughs> curse. When dear Grandpa Pop Happerman told me I couldn't inherit my trust fund until I married a human woman, I was angry. Human woman? Hetero and humonormative. <laughs> But now I see Grandpapa only wanted me to be rich in money and in love. So if everyone could raise their glass. Oh, no! And his flight got canceled! I'm down a bridesmaid! I'm about to short circuit. <gasps> oh, dear. Where will we find someone Annie's exact dress size who's brunette with high cheekbones and stands a hair under five foot six? If only I were tall enough. Oh, but you are. You're a classic five, five and three quarters. <laughs> Carly, I know it's so much to ask, but would you do me the honor of standing beside me for the most important moment of my life? <laughs> sure. <laughs> I'm already having such a wonderful time, and being your bridesmaid will only make it better. <laughs> to my bride, Prunella, and more importantly, to Carly. To Carly! <laughs> Bet you wish you stayed home now. No. Neville invited me here to mess with me, but now I get to mess with him by exposing this entire wedding as a sham. Something fishy's going on, and I think it's pretty obvious what it is. Prunella Prunella's is a, a gold, gold digger. digger. No, Prunella is a robot. <laughs> I don't trust that, Wes, and I don't need that class. I already have the greatest teacher in the world, the internet. If I can install my own ceiling fan, I can tune up my car. Great idea, Carly. I'm sure a 30-second TikTok can fix this death trap. Freddie, just hand me that uh, twisty thingy. OK, this is no big deal. Huh? No! Hey, I got no! Come on! Son of a <laughs> You know what? That's OK. I've almost got it. Freddie, go check the spark plugs. Right. Millicent, start him up! Our girl's trip was a bust, huh? Yeah. I got ditched, drank alone, ruined your hookup, started an argument, and then Brooke went home early. Yep. Sounds like every girl's trip I've ever been on. Oh, hey, I did it! <laughs> <laughs> uh, I wonder why she thought we'd be into a threesome. Yeah, it was so out of the blue. Right? Uh, should I get a separate room? Yeah, definitely. <laughs>